Okay, so this video is for um, by Gia's request. He asked that I put up a video, a kind of a how-to of doing the Aikido break falls that I showed uh, that I was just practicing on an earlier video. And first of all, I should say that I'm not any Aikido master. It's been about 20 years since I practiced Aikido in a dojo. Um, but once you learn some of these break falls, it's like riding a bike. Um, you don't forget how to do it. And um, they're good to learn, both for conditioning, um, for hardening the body, and for practical everyday purposes. Um, if you practice them enough that you embody the movement um, so that it's automatic, then slip and fall, um, something like that happens, then you'll be able to uh, automatically go into one of these tunnels so that you won't get hurt. So the science behind it is basically this, that you're trying to spread out the impact of the fall. Right? So typically when somebody falls, they lose their feet, they go straight down. try to catch themselves with their wrist or their elbow or something like that and then you get injuries. Um, in, the, in the martial arts uh, break falls, um, what, you're, what you're doing is you're spreading out that impact. So instead of going straight down, you're moving the ball horizontally across the land. So that horizontal surface you use more of and you also use more of the surface of your body to spread the impact along so that it dissipates slowly rather than coming to a straight stop. It's kind of the difference between you know running into a running into a, a solid wall and kind of you know skidding along the outside of that wall. You're going to be um, hurt more if you smack straight into. It. So um, falls I'm going to show you are just you know the real basic. Actually, it's just. Sometimes even if you're going backward at an angle, you can use the forward roll. You just have to turn your body to go in that direction. It's actually it's probably safer than, than trying to do the backward roll because the forward roll gives you more of that horizontal across the landscape. So anyway, the first one is the backward roll and it's the easy one. And what you're doing in this one is um, you got to put one leg, make sure one leg goes behind the other. Right, so if you're going straight backward, it doesn't matter which leg goes behind the other, either one will do. And, um, and then you're spreading the impact over your arms. And if you're going straight backward, typically you're spreading the impact, you know, up your up your uh, backside, and then slapping the ground with your arms to dissipate the um, the impact. If you're kind of almost straight backward, you might hit the ground with one arm first and then the next. Um, you'll see this with Aikido practitioners. You know, if you go on YouTube and look at what they're doing, if they in close line, um, you'll see them go straight back and, and slap their arms um, with one arm and then the other as they're, as they're going back and their body. as you're doing it. So one leg goes behind the other, depending on which way you're falling. If you're falling backward this way, you want your right leg behind. If you're falling backward this way, you want your left leg behind. If you're falling straight back, it doesn't matter. So the straight back fall, basically, like, just do it on both sides, right? So here's the right one. So when you're coming down, you know, you're actually coming on the thigh and then up the back, right? So you're coming like this. So if you're going 
going to the side, it's basically the side and backwards is basically the same thing. So you might not have the full slap, you might kind of roll with your arms instead. So I tend to go over a little bit more because once I start rolling with my arms, my body's like in the forward roll kind of mode. One arm, then the other, then one leg, then the other. And same thing with the other side if you go back. That's the ideal fall in that direction, one side or the other. Now, the more um, difficult break fall is the forward one, but it's also the one that's gonna gonna hurt less. So if I have a, an option, um, you know, it's going to hurt less once it's, once it's practiced well. So if I have an option, I'm going to use the forward roll instead of the back. Because the back, you can't get that much momentum across the land going backward. But forward, if you're getting pitched, you can get a lot more momentum. Um, so that momentum across the land helps dissipate that, that impact. So on the, on the forward rolls, um, the way I remember the way I remember being taught uh, was to start on the ground. Okay? So you start from a kneeling position. Okay? And what you want to do is you want to move like this, depending on which You want to impact the ground rolling over your shoulders, coming down the other arm, and then down at least one leg. And uh, if you're really good at it, you'll get both legs. So this is how it looks. Right? You're going to go in like this, kind of kick off so that you're moving forward. Okay. On the other side, same thing. Okay. Once you get to where it's feeling good on the ground level, um, then you can move up. And when I was training, uh, I didn't have anything but in between the ground level and fully standing practice. And we had well, we had tatami mats, um, which are a Japanese mat, and they're really good for practicing on. Um, if you have mats available, it's probably best to try uh, learning with a mat before you try learning on any other surface. Um, if you don't have a mat, find the softest grass surface you can find to, to, to try to learn it on. Um, right in here where I'm doing it, there's not really a soft grass surface. Uh, there's lots of roots under the ground and it makes the ground really hard. So this is not the preferable place to, to learn it for the first time. Go out on something soft. Um, but basically when you're doing that second one and you're going higher um, some people will have have a partner you know, sit in front of them like this and they'll practice rolling over that partner the way that they'll do it they'll, they'll catch their one hand on the back of the partner and then they'll just kind of roll over their back like this um, but like I said I never did that so I can't I wouldn't, I'm not going to really demonstrate it I'm just going to show you from the ground to straight up. So when you're straight up, the, the movement is the same as it was when it was on the ground. You're rolling like this, right? Whatever leg's behind you, that's the way you're turning like this. Those arms kind of circular, right? Like this, like you've got a big ball in your arm. I 
outside edge of your arms, right? So, it's, so this is how, this is how it's, this other side, this, and starting from the, from a, Stand still position. Um, it's a little bit harder on the body than once you get moving. So what I like to do when I practice is do about 20 of them. Right, left, right, left. Um, 20 of them in a row and keep the momentum going. So I roll, stand, and while the while I still have momentum, I'll go into the next roll. That way it's spreading out across the earth's surface as well and there's less impact, and uh, it's good cardio exercise, good body hardening exercise, so I'll show you the, the sequence of a couple, so you can see how you can keep that momentum rolling. those four of them you'll get a little bit dizzy but I do about 20 by 20 you're getting plenty dizzy and you want to just stop and get your head back before you do another 20 or so um, and it will get you get the uh, lungs working and the blood running and uh, good cardio workout good strengthening of the body workout um, and get that movement really ingrained into your system so that if you have a fall or if somebody throws you, you'll be okay.